What's up guys, back again with another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you how to install Minecraft Spigot on your dedicated server. So I'm running with Ubuntu 17.10 I believe. So yeah, let's get started. So first, um, you're going to be in your home folder in your root directory, the home. Okay. So you're going to make a new folder for your server file. So mkdir, um, let's just call this poop. Okay, the server is going to be called poop. Now, uh, let's cd into poop, so that'll move you in there. cd poop. So now you're inside of poop, right? And so you're a poop master now. So look, so now that you have that done, you're going to have to um, install Java. So, okay guys, so I'm back. So now you're going to install Java, of course, like I just said two seconds ago. So now you do sudo, oops, sudo apt-get update, so that'll update your crap. So you're done, oh, let it do it. Do, 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 do. So that's done. Now you're gonna install Java, like I just said another two seconds ago. So apt get install default dash JDK. That'll install the Java JDK. I already have it, so it's not gonna do anything, but it might ask you yes or no, so you just put a Y and then press enter. Um, so we have a directory. So now we need to find Spigot. So yeah. Okay, so I'm now I'm at a mirror website for Spigot, so you can download uh any version of Spigot here. So find the version that you want for this tutorial or whatever you're gonna do. Um, so I found my version that I want. So you're gonna click download right here. So instead of clicking this download file, you're gonna right click it and then click copy link address. So now we can do something magical and do wget and then you can put the link here and then it'll download that file and put it in the directory that you're currently in. So boom, let that download. It's all very magical and stuff, so yeah. Okay, now that you have that, you have ls, so let's rename it, so make it easier for the, yeah. Um, so let's rename it, um, <laughs> mv spigot, and then put the new name here, spigot.jar. Boop, now it's renamed. So now you're gonna type this command. Okay, this command will um, start the server for you, so paste it, and um, I'll put the, everything in the description for you, the links, this thing, everything, okay? Step by step. So. The 6G right here it stands for 6 gigabytes, so that's for your RAM server RAM. Um, I don't know, I just said server RAM twice, but um, you'll have so the more RAM, the better performance you'll get. So 6G, because I have 6 gigabytes on the server at least, so boom, start it up. Okay, it's going to stop the server because you need to accept the uh, EULA. So LS, let's now we can open all these files that were generated. So. So to accept the EULA, we can do nano for the text editor, and then EULA.text. And then we'll go over here and change it to true. Now do control O, enter, right, control X. Now, we can start the server again. Let's just go up here, boop, and it should start up for you. Boom, there you go. Do you feel smart now? Cool, dude. Okay, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting. Boom, it's up. Now, to find this uh, server that you made, let's see what port, it's on 25565, so, okay. So what you'll do is put your IP um, right here, and then you'll have a colon, and then put the port that it generated for your server. So mine is 25565, and I'm gonna blur out the IP so you don't see it. And, uh, yeah. So just connect to it, and boom, you're on your server. Freshly made. Yep. So this is your new poop server, and you can do whatever you want on here. Have some Minecraft sex, you know, any kind, any kind of thing you're into. You know what it is. So um, yep, that's that. So that's one way to do it. Actually, wait. Let me show you how to change your port. Okay. So go back to your uh, terminal. Let's close the server. To control C. Now, ls, let's find it. Let's see what it's called. Go to server properties, nano server properties. And then we're gonna find the port area. 256, I mean 25565, we'll change that to anything we want to. So 25550. So we can change it to that. Save it, exit. Then we can set the server up again if you want to. Boop. Okay, server starting. Boop, server's up. So we gotta go back to here and change the ending of the port to 25550 and then connect. 
and then it'll work. Pretty awesome. So, so if you want multiple servers, they all need to be on different ports, and now you know how to do that. So you can be cool now, like me. You know how it is. Oh, anyway, anyway. So now you now you want to do that. Um, let's set up a way to make the server. Um, like where you can start it up with just a simple command. You don't have to type that long string of command. So we can do that easily. Just follow my tutorial. Okay, now <laughs> let's, start, let's stop the server. Um, so now we're gonna make a new piece of script. So we can do touch and we'll name it start script. So start.sh. Okay, ls to find it, just to check it's there. Boop, 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 boop. There it is. Okay, so there's start sh. So let's nano start dot sh. Let's boop. Crap. Okay, we're gonna paste our command in there from earlier. Is it in there? Boop. There you are. And now we can also do this thing. Echo. We could say server started. Boop. There you go. I don't know why I keep saying boop, but boop. Okay, now we can do control O to save, enter, and then exit with control X. Now to start that script, you want to add it to your chmod, and to do that, you'll type this command. So chmod u plus eight, no, u plus x, and then the script name, so start.sh. Now it's added. So to do the script now, you do dot slash start dot sh. Boop. Now that's going. Yeah. Cool. So now your server started for you. And that's that. So we could also make a, um, a stop script, which is pretty easy, but I'm not gonna show in this tutorial. So just close that server. And now I'm gonna show you how to keep the server running and you won't have to stay in this console so you can edit the files while the server's running. Cause if you can't do that, then you're a noob, okay? So you gotta follow me. So now to do that, we'll do sudo apt dash get screen. So it's screen. Oops. Excuse me. Install screen. That's what I meant. Silly me. Okay. Install screen. So I already have installed, of course. So we can do. So to run a screen, right? We do screen. Screen. Type the command right here. Then let's say you click it. So now it's running. Do 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 do. Starting up. So now let's say you want to exit the console, right? So we'll do Control A and then press D, and that's it. You're out of there. But it's still running, of course. So we can go on a server right now. Boom, see, we're here. Yep, so that's that. So if you want to be really advanced and cool and savage like me, of course, you can do, um, so you can do nano and then open up the start script that you made, sh. Okay, now we could do a screen x and then We'll give it a name, so S, and then we'll name it Bob. No, Poop, we'll name it Poop. I like Poop, okay? Space. So now we should be able to do screen. And then we'll, do, we'll start the script. Oh wait, I'm a silly boy. I'm a silly boy, of course. So let's do, change the X to M. And no, I mean D, and then add a dash M also. So now you can do that, and then it'll open and then automatically close for you, so you don't have to do the Control A D thing. So once you have that, and then we'll give it a name of Poop, and I'll show you what to do after that. So Control O, Boop. There we go. So that's that. So we'll start it up. Start sh. So the server is now running, of course. I'm sorry if you hear that dog. It's horrendous. Anyway, um, so if you wanna. Go back into that thing. We do a screen dash R. And we already have a whole bunch of crap running, so we need to find ours. Um, yeah, let's find it. I think it's this one, the top one. So we'll do 62R. I mean, six. I can't even talk right now. Okay. Dash dot luminatus. Yep, that's it, of course. So, so once we do that, we can just close it right now. Boop. So that's that. So let's start our scripts. It should work now. So the server is now running. 
And now we have a thing called poop, so that's good. So the sh server should be running now. Boom, that's our poop server. So let's say we want to close it because we're too savage for this. So we'll do screen dash R and then put the name poop. Now we're in here, just close it. Boom, there you go. And that's a simple way of running your server. Um, yeah, you can do more advanced stuff if you really want to and if you're gangster like me, but um, you're probably not and I feel sorry for you. But thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Share this video if it was really bad because I know it was. Um, yeah, leave a like and subscribe. And um, yeah, get a life. Stop playing Minecraft. Okay, bye. That's my house. That's my car. That's my dog in my backyard. There's the window to the room where she lays a pretty head. I planted that tree out by the fence. Not long after we moved in. There's my kids.